हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई एम डॉक्टर गजेंद्र पुरोहित यू आर वॉचिंग यूट्यूब चैनल वेयर आई अपलोड वीडियोज फॉर इंजीनियरिंग मैथमेटिक्स बी एस सी इफ यू आर प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर एनी कॉम्पिटेटिव एग्जाम वेयर हायर मैथमेटिक्स इज आस्ट आर यूट्यूब चैनल इज वेरी हेल्पफुल टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू टेल यू अबाउट न्यूमेरिकल डिफ्रेंशिएशन फॉर अन इक्वल इंटरवल बिफोर दिस हियर इन दिस क्लास आई हैव ऑलरेडी टॉट यू दैट फ्रॉम न्यूटन फॉरवर्ड न्यूटन बैकवर्ड एंड देन फ्रॉम स्टर्लिंग फॉर्मूला हाउ डिड वी मैनेज टू फाइंड आउट द डेरिवेटिव ऑफ द डेटा द इंटरपोलेटेड डेटा Today I will tell you that if we have data given here and we normally use that data for an equal interval, Newton divided difference formula or Langerhans interpolation formula for an equal interval, right? So if the derivative on that concept is asked, then ultimately this formula will be used. But what we will do with the formula? We will have to take the derivative. So how do we calculate it? In this video, we will learn about that. Let's understand the formula for Newton divided difference. If you haven't watched the full video of Newton divided difference, where I told you how to calculate the value, if you haven't seen it, please go to I tab and you will find the link in the description. We have to understand the formula of Newton divided difference. It is f x equal to f x zero x minus x zero del f x zero x minus x zero x minus x one del square f x zero, and we have this. What we will do? We will differentiate this formula with respect to x. students if you differentiate this with respect to x then this will become 0 so here x will become 1 so this will be del x 0 and when we multiply this it will be x square minus x into x 0 plus x 1 plus this becomes x 0 x 1 clear students moving forward so students listen carefully when we will do its differentiation with respect to x so here this value will come as 2x and here this will be x 0 plus x 1 right like this we will have this value and this will be del square fx 0 in the same way when these three will be multiplied then this x cube will come so the derivative of x cube it will be 3x square here when we multiply this by this then we will get the x square term and with that x square x 0 will come x 1 will come and x 2 will also come when we take derivative of x square it will be minus 2x as minus x square will come and inside it we will have common so here x 0 x 1 and x 2 will come After this coefficient term of x will come next. In coefficient of x, either x zero x one will come or x zero x two will come or x one x two will come, right? So when we multiply this here, the minus minus will become plus. So we will get x zero x one plus x zero x two and x one x two, right? At last, these x zero x one x two will be multiplied. When we will do their derivative with respect to x, then it will be zero. So the value that will be coming here is into del cube f x zero. This is the formula that we have, and in this formula we put the value like this. And then what do we do? We solve the question here, right? Let's see the question and try to understand it from the question. In this question we have this given here that x is equal to zero two three four seven nine, and y is given as four twenty six fifty eight one one two four six six and nine two two. And you are being asked. What will be the value of f dash five? Normally, to calculate f five, we can use Newton divided difference. We need to calculate f dash five. What do we have to do here? We need to learn concept of the derivative of that formula so that we can do it very easily. The formula that we have, that formula is f x is equal to f x zero plus x minus x zero del f x zero. Then this will be x minus x zero x minus x one. Clear students, right? Okay, and this will be del square f x zero. Then we will have this x minus x zero, x minus x one. Are you following me? Okay, and x minus x two, and this will be del cube f x zero. So this way we have the formula for this, right? We will find its derivative. I had already explained the derivative. The concept should be clear to you. So this will be f x. So when we will do its derivative with respect to x, then it will be zero. Here we will have del f x zero, and here when we will multiply it, then it will be x square, and this will be two x. Here we have x zero plus x one minus will come as common. So minus x zero minus x one into del square. This will be f x zero. When we will multiply this by this, it will be x cube. So it will be three x square minus. Here it will be two x x zero plus x one plus x two. And students here plus x zero x one will come. Okay. Then we will have this x zero x two. And then this will be x one x two into del cube f x zero. So students, what do we have here? We have the formula. 
So whenever we have this type of question, then we will make a difference table. So 0, 2, 3, 4, 7, 9, this will come like this. Here we will put the value of fx. Now I taught you how to create the table. If you haven't seen my old classes, please go watch them. What we do is find difference. It will be 26 minus 4 divided by this difference. That is 2 minus 0. This is 22 upon 2. That is 11. It will be the value. If we see like this way, it will be 58 minus 26 upon 3 minus 2. This will be 32. This difference divided by this difference. Then this difference divided by this difference. Then this difference divided by this difference will come here. And students, when we will talk about the next value, right? We will calculate its value. So what will happen here? The difference that is 32 minus 11 divided by from here. See this and this one. So it will be 3 minus 0, right? So this is the value that we will get. It will be 21 upon 3. That is 7, right? So in this way, if we talk about this, it will be 54 and here we have minus 32 divided by from here we will take this and from here we will take this. That is 4 minus 2. From here we will have its value which is 11. So in this way here what we do is we get the values. So I made a good video on the concept of Newton divided difference. If you haven't seen, then you can watch it. Then we will calculate the difference here. It will be 11 minus 7 divided by. From here we have this and from here we have this. We will take its difference. That is 4 minus 0. This will be 4 upon 4. That is 1 if we talk about this here. I want to explain you one more thing. So that you don't face any difficulty. Students, this will be 16 minus 11. So this will come as this here and this will come as this here. That is... This will be 7 minus 5, right? So here this comes as this will come 7 minus. Listen, this will be 7 minus 2. Sorry, students. So this will be 5 upon 5. So this will again become 1. So in this way, we will have the table made here clear. Now from this table, what we will do is find value of derivative because here we are taking x0 as 0. So here we have this x0, this is x1, this is x2, this is x3, this is x4 and this is x5. If this is x0, we have this which is fx0, this is del fx0, this is del square fx0 and this is del cube fx0. So we will pick up these values and put them here. What we will do here, we will find the value of f dash x. So when we put the value here, then we have del fx0 here because we have x0 as 0. So it will be 11 plus 2x minus. I will put the value of x at the end. What is the value of x0 that we have here? And the value of x1 is minus 2 into 2 del square fx0. What will come here? It will be 7 plus. For this value, what we will do? I will take this value and write plus here. So this will be 3x square minus 2x, right? x0, x1, x2, add these three. So adding these three, 0 plus 2 plus 3, this will be 5, right? Plus x0, x1, multiply them. So 0 will come. We will multiply x0, x2, so 0. And x1, x2, we will multiply this. We will get 6, right? And here what we will get del cube fx0. How much is del cube fx0 coming, students? 1 is coming. This is the value that we get. Here we need to find value of f dash 5, whose value we need to find. We need to find value of f dash 5. This will be f dash 5 is equal to 11. Here we'll put 5. We'll get 10. 10 minus 2 is we will get 8 into 7 plus here, we will put 5, so it will become 25. 5 square is 25. 25 will be 75, we will get 75. We will keep 5 here, so 5 into 5 is 25. 25 into 2 is 50, so it will be 50 and plus 6 into 1. Students, this will be 11 and 7 into 8 is 56. And listen, 25 plus 6 will be 31. We will get its value. And when we will solve it, it will be 8 and 98, right students. So students, here the value of f dash 5 will be 98. So like this, we can very easily find the value of the derivative by the Newton divided difference. And why did we use it? Because the interval we have here is unequal. There is difference of 2, difference of 1, difference of 1, a difference of 3. It is coming like this. Now moving on, students, our books are available on Amazon and Flipkart, so you can buy them. These are very helpful for CSIR net gate IIT jam exams. We will see the next question. We are given this data x and fx and we are told to find the value of f dash 8, right? That means we have to find the value of f dash 8 here because the interval given here are unequal, right? So either we'll use the Newton divided difference or Langrage. Normally in exam, the name of any method is not written. So in that case, Newton divided difference will be easier. You can use that here clear. Moving ahead, I told you that you should know the formula of Newton divided difference fx is equal to fx0 plus x minus x0, right? I am writing it down for you repeatedly so that you learn the formula without any difficulty. x minus x0, x minus x1, del square fx0 plus. Students, is it clear till here? 
Okay, moving on, it will go like x minus x zero, x minus x one, x minus x two, and del cube f x zero. This will be the formula. I will differentiate this with respect to x. So I just told you that we will differentiate this. So this will come here as f dash x. This will become zero. Students here, this is what we will have del f x zero, and here we will multiply this. So this will be x square. Its derivative will be two x and minus x zero minus x one. This del square f x will become zero plus. When you multiply this by this, you get x cube. So its derivative will be three x square minus. Students, it will be two x and inside it will be x zero, x one, x two and plus. Here it will come x zero, x one, x zero, x two and x one, x two into del cube f x zero will come right. What we will have formula will come. What we do is we'll create a table, right? Here f x will come. I want to tell you that you should know how to make difference table. Difference between these two divided by this difference. This will be the value. The difference between these two divided by this difference. This will be the value. Difference between these two divided by this difference. This will be the value. In the same way, the difference between these two. I want to tell you. In this way, what will we have? The difference between these two and its corresponding one. This and this one. Pay attention. Right. So it means we will have zero point one zero nine minus zero point one three four divided by nine minus six. That will give us the value. Clear, students. In the same way, the difference between these two and then divided by twelve minus seven, then that will be the value. Then the difference between these two, then this and this will come. I mean, twelve minus six will come. If you will understand this, I think there will be no problem in solving the question, right? And if you are still having trouble creating difference table, you can check out my video on Newton divided difference. Watching it will help you understand it completely, right? Let's move on, students. Here now, I will show you a little calculation. So this will be f dash x. I want to tell you that these values that we have here, what are these? It is x zero. This is x one. This is x two, and this is x three. This is f x zero. This is del f x zero. This is del square f x zero, and this is del cube f x zero. We need to put these values. Then work is done. Let's move forward. Here we have del f x zero. How much is its value? Zero point one three four plus two x. We will put the value of x later. We need to find f dash eight. Value of x will be eight minus x zero. This is six minus seven into del square f x zero. So this is what we will have. Students, its value will be minus zero point zero zero three three. And so next plus will come here. Then we will keep the value of three x square later minus two x x zero plus x one. This value, so it will be six and seven. I think seven plus six. We will have thirteen. Thirteen and nine. We have twenty two. Right. So we will have twenty two and plus and x zero x one we will multiply both of them so seven into six will be forty two x zero x two will come so it will be six into nine is fifty four and x one x two then this will be seven into nine is sixty three into del cube x zero this value that we have is coming out to be this so this will be zero point zero 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 five one right. What do we have here? Its value will come. Since we have f dash eight, so we need to find the derivative. We need the value of derivative eight, right? So f dash eight, we will put eight instead of x everywhere. So it will be zero point one three four plus. If we keep eight, it will be sixteen. Sixteen minus six is. So let us put the first value here. I think it's sixteen and minus six and minus seven. So this becomes minus thirteen into zero point zero zero three three, right? And plus here we will put. If we keep eight here, sixty-four. So listen, it will be three into sixty-four minus students. If we put it here, it will be sixteen into twenty-two plus. If we solve this here, we will get four plus three is seven, and two is nine, right? And six plus five is eleven. Eleven plus four. How much we will get, students? Fifteen. Students, this will come here as zero point zero 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 five one. If you solve this using calculator, then value of f dash eight will be. I have taught you how to use calculator. So the value that we will get, it will be point one zero eight five nine. So this will be the value of the derivative. So by this way, we can do this very easily. Is it clear, students? Next question has been given in the comment box, and you have to give the answer in comments. How much time did it take you to solve it? Do comment and let us know. I humbly request you to subscribe our channel if you haven't subscribed yet, so that you keep getting the notifications of our upcoming classes. If you haven't seen my old videos of numerical analysis, then you can go and watch them so you get the complete playlist. If you are preparing for CSIR NET GATE IIT JAM and want to practice new questions or want to prepare for exam of assistant professor, then its previous year's question series is uploaded here. You can go and check it. Subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much. Bye bye.